to combat dyslipidemia, which includes high cholesterol, patients have several treatment options that include drugs, diet, and or lifestyle changes. Uh, drugs are effective, but produce adverse side effects in a significant proportion of patients. Statins, such as Lipitor, are the most widely prescribed, but they produce adverse effects in up to a third of patients. Adverse effects are also associated with the other drugs in common usage. Adverse effects may include liver, muscle, and kidney dysfunction, skin disorders, abdominal pain, nausea, constipation, dizziness, flushing, neurological disorders, and cognitive impairment. On the other hand, therapies based on dietary and lifestyle changes produce little or no adverse events, in fact tend to have positive side effects, and are the cornerstone of recommendations by the official U.S. body, the American Heart Association, as well as the international guidelines. Uh, recommendations include reduced intake of saturated fat and cholesterol, while increasing physical activity and increase in intake of dietary fiber. So we need to eat fewer animal foods, the only source of cholesterol, and more plants, the only source of fiber.